Namaste guys, in this video I am going to teach you how to make bevel gear mechanism in Blender. Ok, so let's start. So first delete the default cube, click on add mesh and gear gen master. You might not able to see in your mesh because you need to install a add-on. Link in description, it is absolutely free so you don't need to worry. So click on it, click on here, click on bevel and here you will see pinion and gear. So increase the number of size of gears okay uh, let's say 24 is matter so basically what is happening the first gear is my pinion gear i have to make a separate gear that is my ge uh, gear so pinion is always called small gear and gear is the bigger gear so here the gear is you see is the pinion gear okay and here you can control is module remember you need to just remember one parameter is module 0.2 okay because if your module is different your gear teeth will not going to mesh. So click on add mesh gear gen mesh mesh and be well. Now this time here put it 24. Okay. And make sure that the module is 0.2 mm. And click OK. Select this R X90. So a thing arise how to place this gear correctly. Okay. So let's see what we can do. So select this gear and press shift S cursor to be selected. You see this point. Now select this gear and press shift S selection to cursor. So you see it automatically corrects in the right path. All we need to do is R Z move this a little bit so that they can correctly mesh. Again R Z. So this is here we have done. Now to make the animation you need to use constraints. So click here, click on transformation. So okay, first select this gear and transformation and select this. Now go from map from map to click on extrapolate. So map from is from where you are going to take input and how much so for example if if my this gear rotate 0 to 360 on z axis okay or 0 to 120 in z axis my rotation here on y axis y axis will be 240 and make sure that you click on extrapolate so if i click on it rotate z uh, nothing is happening okay the reason is that y source of axis is y axis uh, the source of y rotation is from z axis so if i click on it and rotate z you can see it is rotating but here is a problem that this gear is now off okay so so click on it press r y and move it a bit so that it on a correct place so if i click on it r z so you can see it is totally working now so before i end this video let's try to understand how this constraint work and why i have done this parameter while making this gear you remember that this gear has 12 teeth and this gear has 24 teeth okay so the ratio is 1 ratio 2 so what it means that when this gear rotate 1 this gear this small gear will rotate 2 so what i have done is i provide 120 and this one is rotate 240 degree uh, another thing that arises in your mind why i have choose y source of axis here you can see this is second gear and its axis lie on y axis okay the green line represent y axis so that is the reason again what i have done here is that so why is that because i am taking the movement of rotation of y from the z axis from my ma map to okay that is the reason so i hope you learned something from this video if you have any kinds of doubts and queries make sure that you ask in comments thanks for watching and have a great day namaste